Hey there, guys! What is going on? Sloppy here, playing some more of the Creative Verse. That didn't flow as nicely as I would have liked it to, but welcome back to the channel. I am so happy to be back. You guys um, left such wonderful comments. Thank you all for your kind words. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm back playing. I'm really excited. I have some super cool stuff to share with you guys in the upcoming weeks and things. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So uh, anywho, um, I've been working on expanding this um, this thing a little bit more. Um, you can see it's actually already in use, which is pretty exciting. But I've been working on expanding this a little bit more. Um, it will look better eventually. Um, it'll look better eventually, but, uh, yeah, it all just takes time, you know, these, these bigger builds. So I've been working on it, um, extending it a little bit, and it'll all come together eventually. I also, you know, want to work on other things because, uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's just what I do. I start one build and then immediately start thinking about other things, and, uh, anywho, let's, um, let's, um, look at this. This is the first new thing the first new teleporter inside of our place Whew. i'm sorry it's very early in the morning the first new thing this is bob's rv bob's auto museum i'm really excited this looks really cool um this looks really really cool i've seen photos of the auto museum on the discord um, you can join in the link below if you're curious if you're not already in it i mean come on man or lady, or other. You do you. Um, also use these subway tile walls, which I think got added around the time that I was not able to play. They look super phenomenal. These are painted. I looked it up. I think the real ones are white. Um, but this all looks great. I love the RV. It just all looks so good. Really great work, Bob. Let's go check out the Auto Museum. Yeah, I'm excited. Atlantis Ruins. These new Atlantis blocks are really interesting. The fish in the water. Very interesting. I, uh, I also like the butterflies. It's a weird little thing that just kind of brightens your day. You know, you see a few butterflies. You're just like, oh, cool. All right. Um, yes, this is the auto museum. Whoa. Painted teleporters. Wow, you can almost hide those, eh? That looks great. So you have canvas wall black teleporter all painted black that looks really slick also this looks really good forbidden yeah forbidden redwood wall Oof, the curves bob you have outdone yourself these look really good these are the galactic stairs they actually look like those things that block people from falling I, all i can think is uh, bowling bumpers but like for cars I don't know uh, they look awesome though this car looks really great too so these are canvas walls eh? and then you have canvas slopes so canvas wall I think got added after I did it probably got added yeah hmm. Ooh. you paint yeah those look really slick so you make slopes and stuff out of them that's good. No canvas eighth. Okay, okay. I should learn how to play this game. Um, the pixelated pipe, wowzas. That's probably painted too. Bob, taking advantage of all the stuff in this game. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump on your car. So canvas eighth, canvas slab. Woof. Look at this. These cars look slick as all heck. Look at that. There's like a little truck version. What? Industrial floor. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now he's got like a little thing on the side. That looks awesome. Also got the road. Sorry, I'm trying to get the up high view. I'm not just jumping on your cars. Yeah, look at this. I'm always amazed by people who can create like multiples of one thing. Whenever I try and do that, I just kind of end up creating very similar items. This looks so good little grass Bob Joe GTs I, you know I just watched Ford versus Ferrari so this is familiar 
Really good movie. Christian Bale. I mean, is there anything he can't do? Christian Bale is just such a phenomenal actor. I mean, Matt Damon was great in the movie too, but... This looks so good. This looks so good. I kind of wish they would fix the water. It's, yeah, it's all like running. Not Bob, I mean kind of creative versus a whole anyway um <laughs> no i'm not i'm not gonna talk about issues with the game because you know what it's running well we have tons of new things to be creative with i mean look at this these are basically all new blocks tons of really cool things to be creative with painting is fantastic look at those windows one two three four different types of windows that is super interesting that is really neat I like the look of this too. It reminds me of uh, what is it? Tesla has the big sort of bold stripes. Or for anyone who's ever driven outside of Toronto, there's like a Lexus dealership that looks like this. For sloppy. Yes. Yes. That is. That is why I love you, Bob. I haven't said it until now, but. I think we should take the next steps and move in together and get a small dog. Not a big dog. We don't have room for that. It'll be a small apartment. We could make it work. Um, I mean, I don't know why you'd live in a small apartment if you have this place. Industrial barrier. Look at that. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. Um, you sanitizer before entering. Oof, that uh, feels a little too familiar. Let's check out the inside. Hello. Hello, Mr. Potted Plant. Hello, the price of Bob's Auto Museum 3 goo. Um, oh, that's by tens. Um, sorry, one, two, three. Uh, where do I put this? Do I hand it to you? Um, I don't know. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. Little potted plants. Oh, nice little entryway. The painted, uh, those are usually like a burgundy color. Oh, the painted, man. I'm telling you, I cannot get over this. This looks really good. Yes. So it's actually like a little auto museum in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wowzers. This is so cool. Oh, look, he's got the photos on the wall. Oh, he's got the names. This is a Model T. Ford Model T. There, one of my neighbors has a Model T. He's part of some Model T club. That was a weird side note. I like the water accents. You know, this room is a lot with the white and red. Um, it all looks phenomenal. Um, but it's really neat, like, with the water accents coming out of the wall, it just kind of breaks up. I mean, it doesn't even need to be broken up. This is phenomenal. This is super cool. Oh my gosh. In my head, I'm thinking this would make a phenomenal thumbnail, but I don't even know which way to look to get a thumbnail. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> holy cow. Bob, how long did this take? I'm also, that's, that's a dinosaur car, right? That's a dinosaur car. I can't. The future is electrical. Apparently the future is the past. Sandoz mechanized T-Rex. Ah, if I had to guess who would have bought the naming rights to it, that probably is who I would have guessed. Terithi's Pontiac Firebird. Wowzas. Okay. Adius is Hummer H1. Oh, I think he asked. Mazdark7, yeah. He asked, actually, in the um, Discord, just for some car ideas. I didn't realize he was going to be building them. This is phenomenal. This is amazing. He's got the doors coming out. Sure. Look at that. Ooh. And there's my Mazda RX-7. Look at that bad boy. Ooh. This is such a neat build. This is incredible gift shop. Can I buy a car? Sorry. I'm just trying to get on top to see what stuff is. This is... Look at all these succulents. Look at all these plants. 
free advertising available, collectible model cars available. I may come back and buy one of these collectible cars for my house eventually. Um, this is incredible. This is incredible. This is a really, really incredible build. I just need a photo of that T-Rex. Um, Bob, you have risen the standard. Now I'm just going to be self-conscious about whatever I build. Uh, no, this is this is amazing. Um, this is amazing. And it's on the server. You guys can come see it, which is just such a cool thing. You know, just such a cool part of our world. Pump room. Pump room. Pump room. Pump room. It is what he said it was. They are who we thought they were. Um, I kind of want to see the security office. For some reason, I just... Ooh, the lockers in black look really slick. Like these are the computers, right? Yeah, Galactic Gamer. Oh, could you actually turn on and off all the lights? That's just an extra level. Oh, yeah, down here. Hmm. One of those things that, you know, just takes a while to actually do but it's just a nice little touch um i ran out of nice things to say i feel like i used to have a bigger vocabulary for describing builds it's really cool are these all painted too they must be right they're not usually gray i am just i am floored by this F phenomenal work mr bob mr bob joe i feel like i keep Screenshot captured. Ooh, hello. That's so neat. Anyway, um, yeah, I will be somewhere else in the next clip. Because that's how these typically work. Well, that was a long, uh, long clip to start the video. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not really that sorry because I think it was worth it. I think it was awesome. Bob Joe GT, phenomenal build on the server, and you can access it from Yellow. Yellow. Um, Yellow 21. I'm trying to figure out a naming system for this. I think we're going to go with the parking garage. So um, you'd have your color and then the number of your floor and then the number of your spot so like yellow 21 would be this yellow 22 would be this side i think that would actually work um also it would make it a lot easier for me uh, you know when i ask people if i should come check out their build if they just had like a code like that that would be super nice anyway um i mentioned sorry my square my new i bought a new chair and it's really squeaky so sometimes that'll happen <laughs> um basically professional so no big deal. Um, anyway, I don't remember what I was saying. This place, the teleporter hub, I want to make it a little bit more of a hub. I also want to make it the spawn for our world. I mentioned that um, in the previous video, I think, as well. Um, and one of the things with that for spawn is I want to have a little area for new players. Um, you know, we'll have some rules of the server, some general information, maybe some beds, a place they can pick up a sword, maybe some food. I don't really know what new players need. It's been a while since I've had to go through the grind. Oh, probably the beginner glove. What's it called? The thing that sucks up blocks the purple glove I'm holding currently. Uh, maybe some of those. I think we're going to put that underneath uh, because that's probably a lot of stuff. And um, yeah, so we'll probably put it down here. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that just yet. We're going to need a roof down here. To block out this so that's something um, also you know some mineral water some beds just some of the basics if you're in the area you know you can always come to the TP hub and it has that stuff yeah so we're gonna put that all underneath and then I'm thinking this spot over here I want a place we can then kind of have a message board you know um, like an alerts board something like that where we can write messages or the mods can write messages just sort of letting people know what's going on in the server. So if we're going to have a big event, you know, maybe we'll do a PvP type thing. We can put it up there at sort of a, a visual place. People can come and check, see if there's any messages. If we're doing community builds, you know, um, you'd be able to sort of find them here. 
Um, I think we're going to do that on this side, which I think will look really good. These sun shafts, man. Oh, just phenomenal. Anywho, I'm going to get building and stop talking because that, I think, is the, the point. Okay. I've got a little space cleared out down here. Um, whoa, that sounded like a pilot. Oh, we're coming in on descent, uh, everyone. Please buckle up. Mm, I lost it. Anyway, um, yeah, I've cleared out space. I kind of went with the circular vibe. And I think it looks okay. I think this is fine. I'm not entirely sure how I sort of want to arrange it down here. Um, I'm thinking one side will probably just be a bunch of beds. Um, we've actually got quite a bit of space. So, yeah. I think I'm, um, I'm going to try and sort of just fill up quadrant by quadrant. Um, I also, I played with a wall design over here. I don't really like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of wanted to keep it somewhat relevant to what's up top. Um, up here, we're using a lot of stone. So I kind of want to keep the sort of aesthetic, a similar vibe. I'm not sure though. Um, well, I mean, we probably should, right? We got stone stairs. We probably should keep it a similar aesthetic. Um, but yeah, that wall just looks kind of ugly. I also kind of want to keep these uh, lines. I don't remember making these. I don't know if I made them. They're salt lines. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool like marker. This goes just up to the top um, into that teleporter. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep playing, um, yeah, it, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a big space, I think this will be good, I don't know what I want to do with the walls, though, um, I, I got this diagonal that I like, so it's kind of a circular room, which is nice, yeah, maybe I should focus on, like, getting a ceiling in, figure out what I want to do for that, it's an idea, maybe I think about it. This place is awesome. In the community resources, um, there's just this long, long haul of processors and forges. You can just come in, load them up. Just a nice resource to have. Um, just a really, really nice resource to have. Nothing. Ooh, there is some coal. Take a coal, leave a coal. Um, do I have any extra coal? No, I like having like a full stack-ish. Anyway, uh, there, there was no point. I just r really like this. This is an interesting challenge down here. Um, there's a few sort of interesting design challenges um, for this build particularly, given uh, where it is right now. One of which is how to add some depth to a ceiling that you're very limited by. Um, which I'm trying to do my best. I don't know if I'm doing that well, but I'm giving it a go. I think uh, these actually would look good if they went right across. Um, yeah, just this side will look a little bit strange. Anyway, I'm trying to uh, work around. I have to, um, to to fix up this bank side because it's, uh, it's all right there. Um, yeah, I've sort of added a little bit more color. I thought having the colors down here would look good. They won't actually affect anything down here, but you know, they kind of um, loop it in a little bit more to upstairs. I also went with the industrial floor, um, which I think looks good. It's very plain, but I think that's fine. Uh, it all looks very good. I'm not sure exactly the layout I'll go for when putting stuff down, but I'll worry about that. Well, you know, that that's a worry for next episode, Sloppy. This episode sloppy is just placing blocks and making a room. Next episode sloppy got to make it functional. Um, I also want to find some places to add a little bit more lighting. Um, but that's fine. Can I? That's no. There's no salt slabs. Okay, I might try canvas. See if I can match that. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty good, I think. It kind of looks like a garage, which I'm pretty okay with. Uh, I'm still not sure what I want to do with these walls, but, um, yeah, it's looking good. I, I think this will be a nice little room down here. You know, it'll, it'll be a nice little room. 
Yeah. Yeah, why not? Anywho, I'm going to keep building. Alright, good update. Decided to try and use some uh, canvas blocks to finish up the ceiling. I didn't want to kind of overdo it with the stone slabs like I usually do. Um, it's interesting, this painting thing. There's like a few quirks to it that kind of annoy me, but I also really like it. So, you know, um, anyway, I don't know what I just pressed. Okay, nothing. Oh, but I'm looking around with my mouse. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, one of them, um, so I was on canvas blocks here. Let's just, uh, well. If you're on canvas blocks, you pull up a color. I mean, that's not what it looks like. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. It, it's weird that you have a preview, but it's not really the color that you get. Like if we have that, that's the color, and then you place it down, it's actually quite a bit darker? I don't know, it's just sort of um, an interesting thing. But uh, yeah, this is the roof I want to go with. I wanted to add a little bit of depth, so I thought just sort of a plain gray. It also kind of matches the industrial floor. I almost wish you could like pull color off. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could do... Um, something like that match this white but uh when i tried that i tried it just a little bit ago it kind of ends up looking like you have like a road um which is not great so anyway i'm gonna just roll with this roof this um this wood smoke color wood smoke hmm. um yeah i'm just gonna roll with this wood smoke color and we're almost done here uh, we just need some walls and then the room itself is done which is great and then I just need to figure out what I want to put in it um, but anywho I'm just gonna keep plugging away okay some exciting news my chair is so squeaky I apologize I bought a new chair because I'm working at home my back was getting sore I don't have to tell you the reasons, but it's squeaky. It works great. I like it. It's just squeaky. Um, yeah, and also it's only up for people 250 pounds and well, I weigh around 230, so I think I might be pushing it. I don't know. They probably add like 50 pounds, right? It's probably for people up to like 300. I don't know. It's not important. Um, just thoughts that I think about. Anywho, um, very sorry. Um, I still believe this is icy. Whoever did the community bank, I'm sorry. I've been sort of um, butchering your um, your floor here, which is really cool. The community bank's awesome. Um, I think I actually want to go check it out in just a moment because it has a really cool design to it. I really love the sort of natural aesthetic. There's a, an author I really love named Dan Simmons. He's a, a sci-fi sci author, author who um, wrote one of my favorite books ever, Ilium, which is just a, a mind-bending, phenomenal read. But his new sort of series, Hyperion, has these big tree spaceships, and it kind of reminded me of that. That was a tangent. Anyway, I changed up the design a little bit. I really like these, um, these canvas blocks. The only thing is I kind of wish the paint uh, was like static to one block so I could have like a certain paint job on this block and then when I switch to this one it either doesn't have the paint job or is like has its own uh, but that's sort of a minor thing anywho let's go down um, I also really like that there's a use for leather now um, that's kind of cool I, I dig that a lot of the new blocks you know the Atlantis blocks and stuff there's actually a use for mobs now so there's kind of I know it's a bit grindier, but now that we have creative mode, it doesn't really matter if you just want to build, you can just make a creative world. But I do like that there's sort of more of a grind now involving mobs for some of these blocks. Anywho, um, yeah, this is what I went with. <laughs> uh, this side's a little bit different because I didn't want to knock down these arc signs, but honestly, it's not that noticeable. They have some arc lights over here. Um, I don't find it that sort of distracting. I might put some like beds in front of it or something just to sort of hide the fact that it's a little bit different um but yeah this is what I went with I decided to sort of do a little bit more color on these back walls I wanted to add 
a little bit more character. I think this is kind of cool because it very nicely ties into up here. You know, we have the colors and everything, but it's also a little bit different. It feels very garagey. Um, I like these canvas blocks on the top. I feel like the roof, you know, it's only one block. I only had one block to play with, but I feel like it has some decent depth for you know, being what it is. Also, all the lighting is hidden. Um, I know we can see these ones, but they're flush. So, you know, not being able to see the lighting is cool. I went with sort of this um, pyramid sun-shaped pattern, which I think looks pretty good. Um, added some stone slabs. This is kind of just my go-to trick for adding just really simple depth is just playing with the slabs. And I find the stone slabs look really good. So, no issues there. Um, I also included a little bit more of the canvas wall just to sort of tie it together a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think everything looks good. There are not too many blocks down here, so I feel like it's pretty good. I don't know about this white cross in the middle. It's sort of random and out of nowhere. I was thinking about maybe having some arc signs here that maybe have like the... Um, letters of the direction you're facing so you know this would be like north you know east southwest never eat shredded wheat i believe it's what they taught me in geography class geography class Oof. um don't ask me to say things i guess is the moral of that word anywho uh yeah this is down here next episode we're going to put the stuff in it um, but i'm really happy with it i think this is going to be a really great hub <laughs> Shortly. Shortly. I say shortly. What I mean is whenever I... I don't want to talk about that. Anywho, um, let's go check out the community bank because I wanted to show you guys this build. Um, you guys have probably seen it if you're on the server. It's pretty... Well, it's very useful, I would say. Very useful. It's also kind of a cool build. It's a very cool build. I, I, it's a cool idea for like a community project as well. Like, hey, here's a big bank where we can all sort of store blocks um with this combination yeah so you can um sort of have uh, a tp here if you're so inclined um but he uses these frozen containers and you can make them invisible and then walk on them the only sort of issue is um you know you have that hitbox but it's so neat oh that sun shaft coming through um it's such a neat thing because it just makes it look like there's no floor and then inside you know he's just got the blocks you can come over here um here's all the halloween things so this is where i came and i sort of instantly knew this is where the medieval blocks were which was great i used some of them in the build to uh, to make this the vault crossroad nice painted blocks look at these painted wildwood flowers look unreal and they give off light we can paint light sources, ladies and gentlemen, and other. This is awesome and crazy, and I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, he uses a lot of these sort of invisible floors in this build, and I really, really love um, that. Here's the forge room, which is just awesome. There's a lot of, like, cool pathways. It's just basically this giant tree he made um, that is just breathtaking and... Yeah, I hope everyone comes over here to explore it because it is so neat and useful. Um, and useful, so that's cool. Is there another floor? No, this is... Yeah, okay. The crossroads is fantastic. I'm just a little bit lost. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Upstairs. And we're looking at... I mean, just the details. Those painted wildwood flowers, I think, look so good. You've got the color scheme going on. Crafting materials. These are common items. It's got them all all labeled. That's nice. Mineral water down here. Can't even see it. Can't even see the mineral water. Um, I love the nature aesthetic, too. I think the nature aesthetic is really, really great. And these stairs. One stairs, outer corner. Are these painted? They look really good. Do wood stairs usually have that lip that's like that color? Anyway, everything links up. It's really great. It's a really cool build. And uh, yeah, I thought I would show it. Um, yeah, I just... Here, 
that little wall of fame. Um, please donate to our cause. So you can come over here and donate extra items, and then they all kind of get stored, and we can use them for future things. Yeah, I think it's still a work in progress, um, but wow, what a build. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. Sorry, this last clip got weird and crazy, but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. I... I hated that more than you guys did. Subscribe for more. Don't subscribe. Don't scribble anywhere unless it's meant to scribble. This got off track. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.